Um, Dato Nazir, um, you, you've built this regional bank. Do you have a sense that ASEAN is becoming one market, or is it, as the World Bank report suggests, still 10 very diverse markets? I think, Tim, the, if you look at it from uh, recent times, the answer would be the global financial crisis has been good for ASEAN. Yeah, I think the whole concept uh, of um, uh, integration has gained momentum uh, as a result of um, the obvious need to act as a collective force uh, in the uh, negotiating or, or in defending um, the economies and uh, it's amplified our um, dependencies uh, on one another uh, and um, I think also um, the shift uh, in economic power to Asia is good for ASEAN um, because uh, we are well positioned and well connected uh, to the fast growing uh, economies uh, of the new age. And also I think the global financial crisis has given us a great deal more confidence in ourselves. Um, we, uh, as I've said before, I think you know, we st tend to have this colonial mentality yeah, uh, when uh, we uh, face uh, the West. And I think, you know, maybe with this crisis, uh, uh, colonial mentality also died with it. <laughs> uh, I think uh, what Nazir said, actually, is a lot of what I was going to say. And um, I don't think there's a company or a person that believes more in ASEAN than we have. Talking about what uh, J Adnaze said earlier, we took uh, five years before we could get the ASEAN logo on our planes. Um, and we finally did it, thanks to Dr. Surin. We painted a whole plane uh, in the ASEAN colors and said, truly ASEAN. We have cabin crew from every country in ASEAN, uh, bar Brunei, uh, which we are actively searching for right now. Uh, in our airline. We looked at the crisis as a, as a way of actually further um, integrating our businesses. And in fact, our accounts department is now run out of Thailand. Uh, we only have one accounts department. We have a marketing department that's made up of seven ASEAN nationalities. And hence, we really do believe in this concept of ASEAN. And we're always against a lot of hurdles, uh, similar to what uh, Naze mentioned. But when we built AirAsia eight years ago with two planes, it was very clear in our strategy that ASEAN was the big success factor if we could make it work. We created eight flights a day into Bandung and created a tourism market and a commerce market that just wasn't there before, um, and other forms of market as well. Uh, so there is tremendous opportunity in ASEAN working together. And rather than impeding it, uh, nurturing it and growing it. And I said our integration has worked in many ways. We're probably a company with the most Malaysian Thai, Indonesian Thai uh, marriages uh, in ASEAN. And so the integration doesn't just work on a, on a company level. It has gone much deeper um, than, than what we've done. And we talk about one culture, one ASEAN culture. And so there's a huge opportunity out there to be got. It is tough. I do agree with Nazir. I've said it four years ago at the same forum that I find sometimes it's easier to be an American company in ASEAN than it is to be an ASEAN company in ASEAN. And we should create uh, more ease of doing business for ASEAN companies. There's a huge business. The last thing, it's not just about business. If I can just throw the last point, is that... Uh, ASEAN does mean very little to the people of ASEAN because there are no real ASEAN uh, associations or uh, structures that really drive ASEAN. If you talk about the sea, and I think sport is a, and culture is a very, very important part. If you look at Europe, sport drove Europe, where there's football, um, <clears throat> the European Games, athletics, etc., uh, Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, we have very little in ASEAN. Our, our games are actually called the Sea Games, not the ASEAN Games. And one day I hope, you know, we won't be talking about 
um, Newcastle, Chelsea, West Ham, a fabulous club. We'll be talking about our own football clubs, and one day there'll be an ASEAN League. And we've gone that step forward by creating an ASEAN Basketball League, which everyone thinks we were crazy about. But in the last two weeks, every game has been sold out. In Brunei, the Brunei team is called the Brunei Barracudas. Uh, two and a half thousand people came to watch the game. So we do need local content. We do need relevance. We do need more of our own uh, local stuff. And I think hopefully one day, I, I, I am optimistic that ASEAN will get together. That you know, if I could throw in your minds an ASEAN football league, an ASEAN uh, movie industry, an ASEAN uh, bank, ASEAN airline, ASEAN parliament. Imagine ASEAN Parliament with Lee Kuan Yew, Dr. Mahate, uh, <laughs> uh, I wonder who would be loved and who would be feared. Uh, but I do think that's the way forward. I think ASEAN has to market itself more, and I think that's the big challenge. If an American talks about Asia, they, talk about, they think about India and China. But ASEAN is a fantastic market of 600 million people, and we ourselves are doing ourselves a little bit of an injustice. If we can all work together and build this wonderful market, every country in the economy will benefit, and AirAsia and CIMB are living examples of the power of ASEAN. When you take an airline that was bankrupt, you know, uh, virtually bankrupt with two planes, and now we can have 82 planes predominantly because of ASEAN, it shows the power of ASEAN, and ASEAN should do more to market itself.